All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to record a new auto attendant greeting or voice prompt. Um, once you've logged in, and if you don't have that information, you'll definitely need to uh, contact your system administrator to get username and password information to be able to log in. Also, you're going to need the uh, either URL or IP address of the system to get access into the, the web interface. Okay, going forward here. So to record a voicemail prompt over here, you have your menu um, items over here. So we're going to go to PBX settings and voice prompt. Okay, uh, you're going to select this middle tab, a custom prompt. And from here, you can upload a already existing. If you have a file already saved on your computer, you can upload it here. If you had it done maybe professionally, or if you want to record from your phone, you're going to come over here to record new custom prompt. Give it a file name. Uh, I would recommend, you know, maybe what it is, day menu, and then maybe like a date or month and year. Okay, the format is fine. You can either do select GSM or Wave. And then from here, the extension that you're going to record from. So what's going to happen is, is once I hit record, it's going to call that phone. You're going to pick up the handset and it's going to give you instructions on on uh, what to do in order to, to record that greeting. So we'll hit record. Calls the phone. Hang up or press the pound key for more options. Thank you for calling ABC Company. We are unable to take your call. Please press one for sales, two for accounting, three for support, or stay on the line. Thank you. Press 1 to accept this recording. So I hit pound Press there. To listen to it. Press save. Goodbye. Alright, so I hit 1. And then there it is. So I hit 1 to save. So you just follow the instructions and it will, um, and it will save it automatically for you. So now you have it saved. You can see it here. All I did was refresh the screen. I can play it. Thank you for calling ABC Company. We are unable to take your call. Please press one for staff. Okay, you get the point. All right, so now we need to apply that to the menu. So from here we go to Call Features, IVR. You may already have some IVR menus in here. Um, I'll just add one. Day menu. Prompt, so from right here, here's where I'm gonna select my prompt. You can see um, when I hit the drop down menu, it's already in there. Um, you could probably leave all this um, or if you aren't exactly sure what it is, definitely reach out to your system administrator, but uh, you may be able to leave all this the same, just depends. And if you hover over, it will tell you what, what that actually does, what that actually means, okay? All right, so we changed the prompt. I'm gonna hit save, whoops, okay, that's fine. We'll just go right back in. And then key pressing events. This is where, what options are gonna do what? Okay, so zero, what is zero gonna do? It's gonna ring, you know, if it was gonna go to a group of phones, you're gonna have a ring group here. I don't have any in here. One was sales, it can go to an extension, whatever your sales extension is. Okay, so you just, these are, you know, so press one, press two, press three, where's it gonna go? Make sure you hit save, and then when you're all done, and you hit save, you have to hit apply changes. Now, once that um, the wheel is done spinning, it is done and your everything has been saved. So you gotta hit save and then apply changes in order for it to all save. Okay, if you have any questions, definitely reach out. Um, uh, thanks for watching, bye.